Now in this video, I'm going to show you one last sign in option. If you actually I'm already signed in here. So I'll just uh, actually well, let's see. If I go to google.wrdsb.ca, which is the Google suite setup for the Waterloo Region District School Board what, or schools, it's going to bring me to my login. And as soon as I click login, it automatically then brings me to my drive. Okay, this is my school drive, um, which we were looking at in the previous video. To, in this video, we're going to focus on Gmail. Now, Gmail is a very, very powerful email service. Um, the nice thing about it is if you're logged in through your school, it's exactly like sharing. So rather than having to type an actual email address to any member of the school board or student, I can actually just type in the name and up will pop the students and the teachers. So if I'm looking for Kaylee Bruce, which was a student of mine, that I can just type in an email and say, you've missed your assignment, please hand your assignment in. Okay, things like that. Um, the great thing about this is it actually connects to uh, a handful of other applications. So there's Google Hangouts that kind of pop up on the bottom here, and it's just part of the Gmail. So I've got separate conversations, math help, um, a colleague of mine. Um, I've got social updates, forms. You can actually create different filters. So if I go to more, or excuse me, so if I go down here to more, I can look and see what's called manage labels or create new label. So within that, I've got all of these different filters and labels that I've actually made. So if I create a label, so we can call it school. Under this label, it's going to nest. So nest label under. Now I can create any of these different things. So if I wanted to create it under admin or board things or office secretary, Xerox copier. So let's nest it under that. It's going to create a new label that's actually nested underneath Xerox copier. Okay. Now you can change these filters and things like that. So I've got my admin, it's going to skip my inbox. So if we look at these filters, which is, this is actually a nice opportunity. If we look at this filter here, so this is my administration filter. It's got all of my administrators emails addresses. It's going to skip my inbox and it's going to apply to label admin. So what happens then is rather than getting any of the emails from these email addresses, which were our old email addresses, they're going to skip my inbox and go right into my administrative inbox. And then I'm going to know whether or not those are deemed administrator emails. Um, this is helpful if you're getting a lot of mail from people that would not within the board or if you're a coach and things like that and you want your all of your things to go to one spot. Okay, so Gmail is very straightforward. It's very similar to any other email service. Um, there are obviously you can mark things as read. Um, the reason, sorry about that. The reason that some of these are showing up as they're not starred as unread, but they look like they're um, uh, highlighted, is because I haven't actually opened some of them, but some of these, so this one from Jason Shaw, I opened it within another email service. So I opened it on my iPhone, so it shows up as read, whereas the bolded ones are unread. Um, that's pretty much it with this. Drafts are just like any other draft. So this was the draft that we were just creating to Kaylee. So let's delete that. And it works the exact same if you want to type to someone that's not within the board. So there's Mr. Shaw at GPSS dot or at Gmail, excuse me, dot com. It knows and recognizes that I've used that email address before. So when I click on it, it's automatically there. If I test, test. I can write whatever I want here. You can obviously change all your fonts. You can add in things from your drive, which is a useful thing. So anything that I have within my drive, if I just click this up pops my drive, which allows me to share any items within my drive. Okay. I can make it an attachment. I can make it a drive link. 
The difference between an attachment and a drive link is in a drive link, it needs to be shared with the person. An attachment, they actually just get the file. Okay, and we'll just X that out and just click send and away it goes. Okay, so pretty straightforward, a normal email service.